the Werewolf Agility course. Is dead content. No one trains here. There are no rewards like the Ring of Endurance and Sepulchre, and there is absolutely no downtime between obstacles like you might expect at the rooftop courses. However, I paid over 400 mil to get here. I trained my hunter with the slowest and the most expensive training method for a single silver bar, just so that I could get to this dead content. And you know what? It was absolutely worth it. I ate these time wasters so, so much. <laughs> like, we know you've not got the agility level. I'm like, can we just not do this? And then they just do it anyway, and it's just pure pain. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> I can't touch type either. So, I, so chatting smack actually takes me, like, it actually risks me getting killed. I hope he's all excited and now he's just going to be upset when he when he doesn't get it. Well, he's obviously not going to kill me anyway. So he'll never know if I did or didn't. <laughs> See ya! So, I'm sorry for the slightly shorter video this week, but thank you for watching. Quick self-sponsorship segment here. I have just released the popular chunk design on caps and beanies ahead of the holiday season. Also, because I'm feeling quite Christmassy, there's a 15% discount running site-wide until December 25th. So there's never been a better time to pick up some cannabis chunk merch for either yourself or that special little chunk in your life. Head over to FreyRS.com and see if anything jumps out at you. If it does, Every purchase is hugely appreciated. The link to the store is near the top of the description. Right, let's get on with the video. Homie's going hard. I wasn't paying attention for like five seconds when he attacked me, so I didn't even notice. I think we should be all right though. Decent amount of food. Should be okay, just need to keep my prayer up. He's hitting me so bloody hard though. The Pures always go fucking crazy, man. Should be alright there. When I'm actually paying attention, they hardly get any hits on me off prayer, but when I'm trying to talk or generally do well, I fucking suck. Uh... <laughs> in the revenant caves there are three tiers of shortcut they all look and function exactly the same and so jagex are just trolling me with the tiers however i digress there are two obstacles that i'm sure you're all familiar with by now the 65 agility and 75 agility shortcuts that i've been using to escape pks however there is a third higher tier the 89 agility shortcut to the east of the caves. In many ways, this is actually the least useful of all the shortcuts. However, it is still a chunk requirement for me. Initially, we were staring down the barrel of 16,000 canopy slaps to achieve 89 agility, a 300 hour grind. However, with some clever forestry tech and a whole bunch of money, I was able to secure 32 hunter, a silver bar, and completion of Creature of Fankenstrain. This means we've cut that 16,000 laps figure down to 5,000 with the Werewolf course. So, the Werewolf course. It's surprisingly and deceptively a good course. Made up of only five distinct obstacles and 13 clicks, it's actually quite simple. You head across the stepping stones, jump over the hurdles, squeeze through the pipe, 
grab the stick, which I might add is a pretty fun and unique mechanic that gives you over half of your XP, climb the rocks, slide down the death slide, and hand in your stick. Those actions give you a total of 730 XP and takes roughly 39 seconds. If you've got your maths brain switched on, you're probably doing some quick calculations right now and thinking, crikey, that actually sounds like good XP. And you would be absolutely correct. Under perfect conditions, you can get around 68k agility XP per hour at the well, of course. Considering it only has a 65 agility requirement, that's actually really, really good good. In addition to this, the clicks themselves can be quite fun. You can one tick the stepping stones, animation cancel the hurdles, and you can start the stepping stones a tick early, which kind of makes it look like you teleport into the first one. All great stuff. However, I did use the words perfect conditions earlier in this spiel, and unfortunately for me, Canopus Chunk is far from perfect. Not only do you need stamina potions to keep up high XP rates, something I will not have access to for a long time, you also need both level 80 agility and strength to never fail the death slide obstacle, and the death slide can hit up to 30s. The best regular food I have in abundance right now is trout, so I'm sure you can see my problem. Our XP per hour isn't quite 68k, however, it's still a huge chunk better than the 15k per hour we were getting at the Canopus course. Right, it's time I think to do some agility at the best agility course in the game. So fun to do this. Nearly 90 range, but we'll take a break to do some agility. 56k till the next level. We need to get level 89 agility here, which is obviously quite a big ask, but we should be alright. Should have kept a spot in of my invent free, but it's alright. And uh, yeah, this is kind of why we're here. Cost me 400 mil to get one silver bar so we could do Creature of Fain Constrain and therefore do this course. But it was absolutely worth it because handing in this stick each lap is 380 XP. That alone is about one and a half laps over one and a half laps of canopus course so yeah spending that 400 mil was absolutely worth it we're at 74 laps here i wonder how many we'll be at by the end of the video i don't think i'm going to do 4900 but maybe oh so this progress bar here is the progress we've made towards getting level 89 which is the chunk goal we're only 11.6 percent of the way there but that was all done at the canopus course aside from these 76 laps so i'm hoping that that progress is going to be infinitely faster now that we've got a proper decent xp per hour agility of course no stamina's really really hurts because you don't go run neutral on this course so it does hurt the xp per hour a bit but it still is about three times better than the canopus course even if you just walk the entire time so uh yeah i'm excited to get stuck into this okay i've actually been trying for about you know 20 minutes and we're getting 52k XP per hour, 66 hours until level 89. Really not too bad. I, like, I, feel like, I feel like if I can keep this kind of XP per hour up, I'll kind of be laughing. I feel like I do need to get my strength up because I'm going through the food quite quickly. But I don't know if it's quick enough to necessarily worry about it. And if I should just stick to it and knock out some of the agility levels. And I'm guessing the fail rate will go down with my agility level as well as my strength level so it should be fine and i'm not hurting too bad i'm not failing too often but yeah 76 agility i got last night on mobile uh, and we're kind of flying through it it's a fun course for sure there is nothing more satisfying than getting the early part of this lap exactly right so you can't click straight on the stone you've got to run all the way over to and i fucked it up of course uh, but yeah, you get through there and then you've got to click just as you start the animations like there and there and then it kind of skips you forward a tick. Oh, it's so satisfying. And then the second half's a bit grim, but the first half is just very, very nice when you get it exactly right. Something about it's even better when you're walking. Click about there. Oh, and then you sort of teleport into that first one. Then you one tick all of those five tiles. Oh, it's joyous. It's joyous. 
And there is 77 Agility. Missed it on the recording because I got it at the stone steps. But there it is, only 12 levels to go, which, which is a lot. <laughs> um, it, we started at 75, which is about a quarter of the XP of 89. So we're more than a quarter of the way there uh, from level 1. Uh, but 16% there from level, I think, 70... What were we at before? Level 71 agility to 89. We've done 16% of the goal. So not too bad, but it is taking a while. So last night, we managed to get up to 78 agility on mobile. So we're kind of flying through it, you know? It's really not too bad, is it? 634 laps done. I believe we need something like 4,300 to go. So it's not exactly quick, but it's not exactly bad either. Uh, so yeah, not too bad. And there is level 79 agility. One to go until level 80, which would be a pretty cool milestone, eh? Uh, but yeah, 10 more levels to go until level 89, which is the chunk goal. Don't think I'll do all that in one go, but it's a pretty cool... Uh, method now seeing as we've got werewolf so it's really not as bad as it once was oh neat i just noticed four thousand laps exactly to go until we hit level 89 not too bad it reckons 80 hours to go at current pace so i'm clearly slacking quite a lot in terms of my laps per hour and that is because i am also playing another account at the same time uh, but yeah, 4,000 laps to go, not too bad. I mean, 950, yeah, it took a lot of time, but it didn't feel that bad. So I'm hoping doing that another, what, four times isn't going to feel too bad either. Maybe that's wishful thinking, but yeah, get flying through this grind, nearly up to level 80 already. Big things were achieved last night. 80 agility on mobile last night. That is absolutely massive. I can't believe I've got 80 agility without basically without leaving Mauritania because I can't do the Barrack course or anything like that so that is all the bridge Canafis and the Werewolf course so that is pretty massive nine levels to go once we hit 82 we'll be halfway there which seems so unlikely doesn't it um, when I rolled this chunk initially and saw that 89 agility grind I was like fuck me that's going to be hard to do because uh, i was staring down the barrel of what twenty thousand cannabis laps or something like that so i'm very glad that that is not the case and we are now able to uh do the werewolf course and progress this agility quite hard uh but yeah 75 to 80 so far this video and uh, i'm not entirely sure how much further i'm going to go with it but we shall see right i have been at the agility course for a long time and there is Level 81 agility. Now, I've been here a long time, and the fail rate on the last obstacle, which is the only thing that you can fail, is still very high. Um, which, it's not really that big of a problem, because it doesn't affect the XP per hour too much, but it is quite annoying chomping through all my blighted manta rays, which I would ideally like to keep. Um, so we're, what, eight levels away from the level that we need for the chunk. But, as I've said in either previous videos or earlier in this video, uh, if you get 80 strength as well as 80 agility, you completely stop failing that last obstacle at all. So my thought is what I should probably do for overall efficiency is go and get ourselves the Vigorous Chain Mace, hopefully from Revenant. So my thought is unless the Vigorous Chain Mace is the last collection log slot that I need, what I'll do is I'll get the Chain Mace, use that to get level 80 strength in the Revenant Caves whilst passively um, getting the other collection log slots that we need. And then I'll probably have 80 strength by the time I've green logged the Revenants and then I'll be able to finish off the agility really, really quickly because I won't be failing, I won't need food, um, I won't have to do it on a PvP world like I am right now. Um, I feel like that is probably the way to do it because then I'm going to save myself net time overall. So I think the move right now is to head back to the Revenant Caves and just pray that the, uh, that the Vigorous Chain Mace isn't the last item that we need to get from the Revenant Caves. We're nearly 90 range as well, which is pretty cool. That'll be the first level 90 on the account. 
I just, just needed to check over my stats before saying that just to make sure that was in fact true. Um, so that's fine. We also, I, I, I didn't really even really clock that I had 80 woodcutting. That's actually quite high. Um, I need to get 87 fletching in this chunk as well. And going to the revenants will also, basically I just need to finish the revenants first because then I know where I stand, right? I'll either have 80 strength and the agility will be wicked or the vigorous chain will be the last thing that i need from revs and i will then just have to do the agility either before or after i get it um either is fine um but then i also need to know how many you and magic logs i'm gonna get from doing the revenants because we obviously get thousands and thousands of them and i need to get 87 fletching uh, so if I can get that purely off the U and magic logs that I get dropped to the revenants, that would be huge because it would save me so much time not having to cut oak logs. So, um, yeah, I think the plan now, move back to the revenants. And there is 80 hit points on the account. This fella, G-I-M Gippy, Jippy, has uh, been kind enough as to just give me his world. I attacked him and he said, take the world. Uh, I think he watches my video. Yeah, he does. Okay, yeah, I only just saw that. Um, thank you to him for giving me the world. Nice guy. See, th see, the benefits of having a YouTube channel is you sometimes get people just be nice to you for no reason, which is a nice feeling. So, yeah. More of you need to make YouTube channels. In fact, less of you do, because then I'll get less share of the views, which is why Leagues has been so bleak, because every single person it uploads, like, four times a week, and just the overall pot of views go down. So every time I upload, it's a, uh, it's a 10 of 10, as opposed to a 1 of 10, and I'm getting incredibly depressed, thinking my uh, career is over every single time that I upload. So, uh, yeah, I'm hoping for that to finish and less people be uploading so that I can go back to uh, hitting that dopamine instead of the gym. Oh, there we go. Yet another ancient totem. Hopefully we can get something unique soon, although we do not turn down a free 1 mil GP. You cannot go wrong with that. 15k until 90 range as well, so we've not been here too long, only a couple of hours. Nice to get those every so often. It sort of breaks up the monotony of getting nothing at all. I must say, I'm definitely a very lucky chunk man because not many uh, chunk men could moan about the fact that uh, getting I'm getting a one mil GP item and I've had eight of them. I mean, cash is sometimes so incredibly hard to come by in one chunk, as I experienced earlier in my journey, to be fair. Um, so, yeah, I'm actually, <laughs> I'm so lucky to have this chunk. I mean, it feels tough. I mean, being what? two months into it now i think and we're still not particularly closer to finishing it but as death chunks go this is pretty good and the rewards from it in the long run are going to be massive oh there is 90 range and 79 combat it's nice that our range level so high and our combat still relatively low uh because that means that we can probably get to 99 at what 80 83 combat something like that which is quite exciting because it means we'll be at max dps without much uh in terms of uh higher level pks that can get on us although obviously the hit points level will keep going up but uh hopefully we'll get a new weapon before we get 99 range it would be kind of bleak if we didn't uh but yeah let's crack on right we've escaped and hopefully we're gonna get a uh, stale baguette from this can uh, this lady at the same uh, why is it always the triangle sandwich right right when you don't want it to be that's so annoying <laughs> imagine if i'd grab the stale baguette immediately after escaping a pk that would have been pretty sick got this weird bot that's like insisting on attacking me for some reason i don't really get these very often but this is quite uh quite fun he's way lower level than me i'm pretty sure he's one defense based on the leather body so i'm absolutely clapping him um must be a new bot farm or a change in code or something there because they don't normally attack back. Um, he literally was just here and did exactly the same thing. I attacked him and then he attacked me back and then he eventually just teleported once I'd hit him enough. But that is incredibly weird. That is Telecon messaging me. And there he goes, right. Uh, odd and a waste of my time and food. So I guess I'll just hop away from the bot. They've beaten me with their... Uh, Stop messaging me. Sorry, everyone's going to be checking their Discord, and that is entirely me. I'm so sorry. 
This is one of the most stacked looting bags I've had just on regular loot. Look at that, 860k in there, plus what? At least 160k from the dragon plate leg. So well over a mil that trip from, what, 150 Addy Arrows. So yeah, we more than make our money back on the Addy Arrows. And I'm hoping I can get a new Revenant weapon soon because we are way past 21k now. Uh, 12k dry, which is about three times the drop rate on the Revenant Pyrofiend, so hopefully we can get something soon. <sighs> Hi, the worst people are the people that have the alternative account PKers, like this guy, like just, just here to cause me ag. Like, get in the bin, right. We should be good because he's level one agility. I'll see you around next time, clap or. Ah. <sighs> miserable N at no risk of getting the clap that guy because you would have to be with a man or woman to make that happen and that person has no chance of that and there is yet another million coin totem we cannot <laughs> we cannot buy a different item than this oh look at that some guy at the exact same time got an ancient relic why could that not be us? Oh well, uh, hopefully a new weapon soon. Let's have a look at the kill count on our way out. 21,267. So, yeah. <laughs> we deserve something good. Come on. Go on, big man. Give me the give me the bronze bar. Not the bronze bar. The gold bar. It's too late. It's too late. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. I'll help unlock your chest. No worries, pal. No worries. All right. Bar. Bowl. Bar, unlock. Yes! Good times. Right, that means I can make myself a, a little ring of dueling if I wanted to. That would be pretty neat, I think. Uh, that would just be a nice little item to have on the account, wouldn't it? Should I do that? I don't know if I can use it because I think the Clan Wars teleport teleports me to the wrong place. <laughs> but it's a pretty cool item that we might be able to use soon. Oh, there we go, another 16 mil emblem before we roll another unique. <laughs> we cannot get a unique for love nor money, but a 16 mil emblem looks fucking nice on the ground, so we will take that. I need to be pretty hot on the log out because people usually perk their ears up and start attacking even if they wouldn't normally after they see the ancient relic in the chat, but that's pretty cool. Um... Yeah, another 16 mil. God, our cash stack is going to be booming. I've got three of those now, which is fucking crazy. Um, wow, that's pretty good. Nice. And here is the third one going into the bank. Look at this. That's 48 mil. That's 12 mil. So that is 60 mil in coins just in those two item stacks there. That is crazy. And then... Just look at some of the stacks of the rune items we're getting now. 185 rune plate legs on a one chunk iron man. We are positively booming right now. Um, <laughs> so happy to get that. Up, up over 100 dragon longswords as well. That's a pretty neat item stack as well. I like that one. Um, I'm going to be sad one day to let these item stacks go when I inevitably need some fat stacks of money or something. But they look pretty well we're here. 430 super restores. That's really nice to have. If we end up having to do any more wilderness content like wildy bosses or any other bullshit. <laughs> it'll be really nice to have effectively prayer potions. Um, so that's really nice. And also, little did I know uh, until this episode, you can use all this stuff on PvP world. So even if I get something like barrows right if i just do it on a pvp world i could use all this stuff um which is interesting because that is essentially prayer pots for this account i just have to do stuff on pvp worlds but i don't have any gear that's like that's you know that i'd lose anyway like best i'm gonna have is like a rev weapon and i'll be unsculled so i can there's no reason why i couldn't just do it in a in a uh in a pvp world with like an unsculled rev weapon um, so that's pretty good. Up to 500 of the uh, bracelet of Ethereums as well, which is massive. 21 mil in elk value. Uh, but the main thing that's going to be good for is the fact that I believe that is 125,000 ether, which is 125,000 charges of the rev weapons that we are going to get. 
Um, so we're up to 150,000 charges. I am kind of worried because some of the estimates that I've put out there um, kind of put me at, like, if I kind of want to never really run out doing content like the Theatre of Blood and Nightmare and this kind of thing, I'm going to need something like a million charges. So we're not particularly close to that, but... Just look at the tab. That is vile, isn't it? 185 mil worth of stuff. I mean, even the rune stacks are starting to get kind of high now, no? Like 17,500 blood runes. That's pretty crazy. Um, and like the smithing and, and uh, fletching supplies. Like, that's a decent amount of stuff. Like 1,200 Addy Barts. Like, that's pretty cool. Um but yeah, we are flying, and I'm very happy to have got a third ancient relic. Okay, I'm very smartly going to take everyone's advice here, which is to just run south for once, because this guy's only 102 combat, so I should be able just to not be attacked by him. Okay, I never normally do that. I normally try and fakey them out over the obstacles, but I, I listened to the audience who know what they're talking about, and they absolutely did. So huge props to the audience there for saving me on that occasion. Apologies that this video was a shorter one. I normally like to aim for the one hour mark. And I think we're probably not even going to scrape half an hour this week. Um, just doing the agility just took so much time for so little clips. Uh, which is part of why I did it. I didn't want to just leave all of 89 to the end. So I'll probably do some more at some point. But I would like to wait until I get the Vigorous Chain Mace to train my strength up to stop failing. Because that will just be such a game changer. Uh, the 16 mil emblem was very nice. But you have my promise that I will not be releasing another video until I have a unique from Revenant. So... I will not, you will, the next video of this you see will involve a Vigorous Chain Mace, another crossbow, a Thamaron's Scepter or Tharamon's Scepter, one of the two, or an Amulet of Avarice. One of those four items will be on this account when the next video of these is released. So pray for me that the RNG is good. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this one. Massive shout out to the channel members as always. You can join them via either clicking the channel members button uh, below, the join button, or via my website in the description. The website is preferred because I get way more of the money and also the, it's easier to give the perks to you guys, such as early access to the videos. Uh, but the channel members who I am going to thank as always are... Avery Fields, Eddie Mayer, Shocked Thief, Mitchell Nunley, DJ Focus, Grimsley, Grimzoso, Sal Nexor, Kai, Hunterman, Carl Sprouse, Ninrim, Papa Brando, Squang, Olivet, Hazmat, 83, <laughs> the 83rd Hazmat, uh, Nilo360, Crow Poro, Vandio Gaming, Cluey Louie, Ashar Anchor, Dominique G., Spooky Pasta, and at the Legend tier we also have El Pinin, Cum Crumpet, and Soda. Can't say Cum Crumpet with a straight face still. Uh, at the Rune tier we have Crito and Fireball Tech. At the Amethyst tier we have Fontcest, Sir Yolo, Jack Stalmer, and Talfine. And the big man himself, LS, still supporting us at the... Uh, I think it's just called the LS tier now. Uh, Single-handedly buying Christmas presents for my uh, for my children this year. Absolute legend, uh, and yeah, he he he's he's really carrying, and he's doing it via the website, so that is super appreciated. Um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.